First, they have to brainwash you with the message they want you to believe through the airwaves, through the nightly news, through the social media, all this stuff. They have to put the story out there so you start believing it. You'll see the media talk about how things are going to get worse, and then it starts happening, and then you don't resist because they're like, well, you know, I've been hearing about this for a while now. If they just did it instantly, people would go, wait a minute, economists even would say there's no way that's possible. Somebody just pulled the rug. So they, they do it very, in a way that you can't really detect it unless you know what the game is. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1 and it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Alright, Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring, the house of David, the elect, that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and shalom to the elect. I'm back with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit of the Rakakwadash. And um, I want to get into this article here, all right, because Esau is ready to roll, and it's all about his narrative, all right, having control over so called freedom of speech. And we're in those times of the famine of the word. So this article here is from America's First Report dot com. The title it reads, it says a draconian new law snuck through this month that institutes extreme censorship of the Internet on a global basis. All right. So Esau's plan is to muzzle the world. OK, because. We're in that time, man, okay? People are starting to come against what's being put out there. You know, people are aware of the lies and, and, and deceit, you know, not to get all into this, but, um, you know, they're already pushing the, the, the scare tactics. You know, we're not going to play this video because, you know, there's heavy there's heavy, um, there's heavy uh, uh, censorship when you speak about the, uh, the juice pack, the poison pack, all right? So... As Esau was saying, you know, they're already putting the narrative out there, right? And they know that people are ready to come against this new um, this new batch of uh, bullshit that they got set up. I'll say it like that, you know. Esau knows that they're going to receive backlash. You know, people are not going to, you know, fully submit, if you will. So all the censorship that's going on globally is to control what's being put out there, what people are... Uh, coming in a, a, a contact with, you know, what they're seeing, okay, it's, it's either his way or no way, so to speak, you know, so this is why these things are happening, so anyway, again, it says a draconian, a draconian new law snuck through this month that institutes extreme censorship of the internet on a global basis, all right, so time is running out, Jake, okay, Esau is putting all the components, laws, and decrees in place, all right, that's how we know that it's, it's almost over with, all right? It says the internet just changed forever, but most people living in the United States don't even realize what just happened. A draconian new law known as the Digital Services Act went into effect in the European Union on Friday, and it establishes an extremely strict regime of internet censorship that is far more authoritarian than anything we have seen than anything we have ever seen before from this point forward hordes of european bureaucrats will be the arbiters of what is acceptable to say on the internet all right so esau has full control of the internet now there is no more freedom of speech okay it says if they discover something that you have said on a large online platform that they do not like, they can force the platform to take it down because someone in Europe might see it. So even though this is a European law, the truth is that it is going to have a tremendous impact on all of us. That's why we said, man, seek the Lord while he may be found. 
Okay, Esau is ready to fully regulate this thing as we've been bringing out lesson upon lesson, man. All right, the truth is out there. The truth of the uh, 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 Yahweh Hashem this word, this gospel. All right, the exposure of this very infrastructure that that controls the world, all the wickedness that's going on. All right, all of this stuff is being brought out, and Esau is clamping down. You see, so there's not a lot of time left, man. All right, reading on, it says, from this point forward, nothing will be the same. It is being reported that the DSA literally makes large tech companies legally accountable for the content posted to them. It says here, it says the European Union's Digital Service Act, DSA, has officially gone into effect starting on August 25th, 2023, which was five days ago. Tech giants like Google, Facebook, Amazon and more must comply with sweeping legislation that holds online platforms legally accountable for the content posted to them. That's why Isaiah 10 and 1, you know, war unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Okay? The, the internet is, is not free no more. All right? You can't just say what you want to say because now they're, they're, they're coming with, with, with strikes and penalties now. Jail time. Okay? Persecution. Even though this law was passed in the EU, we'll likely see far-reaching global effects as companies adjust their policies to comply. It says initially there would be 19 giant online platforms that would be forced to comply with this new law. Ranging from social media platforms to online marketplaces and in search engines, the list so far includes Facebook, TikTok, X, formerly Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat, Amazon, Booking, AliExpress, Zalando, Google Shopping, Wikipedia, Google Maps, Google and Apple's mobile app stores, Google Search, and Microsoft's Bing. You see, all these major uh, 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 big tech platforms are under full regulation, all right, globally. It says, but starting on February 24th, 2024, the Digital Services Act will start applying to much to a much broader spectrum of online platforms that have fewer than 45 million monthly users. We are being told that this new law will establish clear rules that online platforms must follow. Okay? So all, all in the name of misinformation, disinformation, man. Right? Quick scripture. It's Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6, and it reads, it says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, while he may be found. All right? And the scripture says this because there's a time where the Lord will not be found. All right? He's going to remove his, his spirit. He's going to remove the word. All right? The prophets. Seek the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And the Lord is near now. All right, starting with his men, starting with his prophets, man. These videos that are broadcasted off the uh, uh, on the World Wide Web, the unicorn, and also the many Yahweh Shem Yahweh that are set up on the highways and hedges all around the earth. All right, but there's going to be a time where this is going to stop. All right, the, 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 the teaching of the truth, seeing the men of the Lord, receiving of the true gospel, man, 100% truth, you know? There's a time, there's a time limit, a, a cap on the, on the Lord's word, you know, verse seven, it says, let the wicked forsake his way. Speaking about the wicked of our people, you wicked Israelites, it's time to repent and turn back to the power. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man, his thoughts and let him and let him return unto the Lord. Yahweh Shai, repent and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. And we're seeking the Lord's mercy, man. To be covered from the from the judgments and the destruction, man. So this is the time that you that you cleave unto the Lord right now before it's too late. Alright. Let's play this video real fast here. Big tech braces for EU Digital Services Act regulations. The world's largest digital companies have nowhere to hide, as sweeping new rules cracking down on tech giants come into play. 
The EU's Digital Service Act is taking the internet by storm, marking the toughest regulation since social media burst onto screens. The DSA is here, here to protect free speech against arbitrary decisions, and at the same time to protect our citizens and democracies against illegal content. If you're watching in Europe and own a smartphone, which probably applies to everyone, then you're going to start noticing changes over the next few months with new safety, verification and consent features. The DSA will force companies with over 45 million monthly users like Google, YouTube and Instagram to clean up its act in terms of its content moderation, user privacy and transparency. But this laundry list is still unclear over free speech. Most large platforms already remove lawful but awful content, but the lines are blurry for keyboard warriors on X, for instance. But even billionaire Elon Musk, who took over the Twitter platform last year and immediately butted heads with the EU over content, is agreeing to comply. While there's nothing new about sifting out fake news and tackling hate speech, hefty fines and punishments may help. Any See, tackling fake news, misinformation, disinformation, they're planning on fining you. Jail time, all right, is, is, is getting that serious, man. You know? And, and ultimately, as I said, it's all about his narrative. All right? Anything that's against what they're bringing out, you know? What you can't talk about, which, you, which will get your videos clipped, your channel removed. This is what it's about, man. All right? They're setting the stage as we see. You know, the calamities, the fires that's been going on. All right? The, the orchestrated famines. All right? The new uh, 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 poison. All right? The new juice pack. The scare tactics. They don't need anybody speaking against anything that he's putting out here. All right? So this is why they're going hard like this, man. All right, full censorship. Any firm found in breach could face a fine worth up to 6% of its global turnover and could be banned altogether. All eyes will now be on how platforms stick to the rules, with experts predicting the DSA could spark change beyond the block. I personally um, consider the, the Digital Service Act uh, to be an overdue step, and it is to be welcomed that the European Union um, has succeeded in reaching a workable agreement on this really highly controversial uh, discussed political issue uh, in implementing it in a timely manner. And, and the DSA um, will certainly not be the last digital regulation of its kind and uh, will also have a spillover effect on many other countries around the world. The EU is yet again placing a magnifying glass over the World Wide Web, but with its rate of expansion spiralling out of control, the DSA isn't the first and won't be the last we hear of online safety. Shadi Edward Stashti, TRT World. You see? So, like I said, all the uh, uh, components are being put in place. They're, they're rolling out. You know, they're, they're ready to roll out these plans. We'll see everything, you know, coming into effect. You know, uh, what you can talk about, what you can't talk about, you know, the censorship, et cetera. All right. Because everything is leading to this, as we know. All right. The MOTB is coming, man. You know, and, they, and anything that's in uh, opposition of what they're pushing, their narrative is going to be taken out. Right. So this is why they need those laws and decrees in place. All right. We see it. Amos 8 and 11, and it reads, Behold, the days come, say of the Lord, power, Yahweh, by Shem, I was shy, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, I was shy. All right? So these draconian laws is what's going to, you know, uh, affect the word of the Lord. You know? Esau wants to remove any form of truth off the internet. Okay? So this word is the ultimate threat, as we know. And they shall wonder, verse 12, and they shall wonder from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Awashai, and shall not find it. See? Famine of the word. The word of the Lord is going to go away. All right? The internet has is, is already been uh, 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 changed. They already formatted. The, they already got the laws in place. 
all right, the change in how we operate this uh, unicorn, this internet. It says, in that day, the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst, right? Because there's going to be a lack of, of the true living water. All right, as more calamities hit, people are going to want to know the answers, man. They want to, they're going to want to know why things are happening, but they're not going to have access to the word, to the truth. Which is going to further bring more perplexity and confusion. All right, more distress upon these people because they're not going to have any clue uh, uh, of what what's happening you know Hosea 5 and 15 I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction they will seek me early right so when this when these things hit all right when these judgments hit all right people are going to be trying to, to seek the Lord man but by then it's going to be too late because you will you were being warned now by the prophets but you rejected the word you didn't want to hear it you see, uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach chapter 5 verse 7, and it reads, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Awashai, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Awashai, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right? So this is going to happen to two-thirds, man, that rejected the word of the Lord, that, that put off the scriptures, that didn't want to take heed to the message of the prophets, man. You're gonna be you're gonna die and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So basically you were warned, man. Alright, it's going down, Lord willing. They need to go ahead and speed this thing up, man. Let it happen already, man. Cause hey, we at the end of this thing. Alright, Babylon is going down. Esau's about to be destroyed, and Yahweh Shah is coming back to gather his elect, man. You know, so this is the time, man. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Pray this quick lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, and double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring. A Shalom.